Yep, the pussy Bernie Sanders is out of the 2020 presidential election. Wow, folks, just wow. The good news just never seems to stop coming. Well, first hashtag me too has been exposed and destroyed, and well, now it looks like Bernie Sanders has ended his 2020 presidential bid. And there was much rejoicing. And so it would seem that Bernie Sanders' presidential bid is just about as dead as he is, or will be soon. After all, he lost the nomination four years to Billary, so why should we expect 2020 to be any different? And so now this illegitimate grandson of the colonel can go back and run the chicken business. Or at the very least, we ought to be able to put him in an escape-proof old folks' home. Yeah, I know we're not probably allowed to say the man's name on YouTube, but this is exactly what you would have wound up with if you had Sanders, if he'd gotten even across... Hell, if he even gotten close to the finish line. But of all the candidates in the last election, and this election too, I guess, I would have considered Sanders to be by far the most dangerous. He's definitely not looking out for you, as Bill O'Reilly would say. All he really cares about is pushing his own socialist agenda and basically making your life a living hell. Of course, Sanders does say that he'll work with Biden to put more socialist judges and other nefarious types of weasels in Congress and in the Ben and on the bench and in the cabinet if Biden, God forbid, became president. Uh, but you know what? Realistically, I don't see it going very far. Besides, every time he spoke, besides, every time he spoke, you could easily read the evil in his eyes. Now, if only we could totally wipe out this Wuhan flu or Kung flu, we'd be in great shape. And I can finally get that procedure done on my... You know. <laughs> but yeah, the news is finally good, and we need some good news for a change. I mean, yeah, the Wuhan virus flu is a terrible thing, but apparently the hydrocortisine was tested and is working really well, and people are actually responding pretty well to the treatment. One woman within two hours of taking it felt a lot better. But we're not talking about the Wuhan flu. We're talking about Bernie Sanders actually coming to his whatever few senses he may have left and dropping out of the presidential bid. So once again... Too bad all your utopian dreams basically went up in smoke, you Kool-Aid-haired goons. Then you probably smoked it. Sorry, all you bug-eyed glasses-wearing dorks. Looks like all you snowflakes are gonna have to run, hide, and find a safe space. <laughs> it wouldn't have surprised me at all if all he really wanted to be was Lord of All and O Conquering Master. So bye bye old Bolshevik Bernie. Now, as for Creepy Sleepy Joe... And so the Democrats just wind up replacing one senile old coot for another. What's even worse for Biden is, if he doesn't receive any kind of recommendation or endorsement from his old bitch, I mean his old boss, oh bummer, <laughs> he's toast. Seriously, folks, just ask yourselves right now, would you let your daughter around this old man? Come to think of it, I should have used this meme in my last video. That would have been hilarious. Oh well. Besides, all you needed to do, really, was just check out the stats on Sanders, and you knew why this guy was never, ever going to get nominated. So, yeah, quite happy that I don't have to put up with any more of this dry nonsense. Besides, you have to remember, last year, Sanders supposedly had a heart attack, which is a bit of a head-scratcher, because I thought he didn't have a heart at all. And yet, somehow, two weeks later, after a couple stints in his heart, will he just bounces back like that? Are you kidding? At his age, and he's nearly 80, I don't think he could handle the job. He'd probably keel over the first two weeks in the White House. So, yeah, happy he's suspended his campaign. If the job of being president ages you really badly, like it did Obama, and Bush, and Clinton, well, you can only imagine what Sanders might have come out like. Oh, bye-bye to this nasty... Nasty, geriatric, uh, evil communist. So, let's drink a toast as Bernie drops out. That's about all I need to say. See you all later.